Westminster Shorter Catechism, Question and Answer 24. How doth Christ execute the office of a prophet? Christ executes the office of a prophet in revealing to us, by his word and spirit, the will of God for our salvation. It's important to keep in mind that as Jesus carried and is carrying out his office of a prophet, that he does so by his word and his spirit. That word and spirit always remain together in the ongoing prophetic ministry of Jesus. I'll talk about that a little bit more in a moment, but first I just want to touch upon the office of a prophet. Many of us are familiar with prophets, or at least the idea of prophesying. And we look in the Old Testament and we find many prophets that are there. These are messengers of God, like Elijah and Elisha, and like Isaiah, and all of the minor prophets like Hosea and Nahum and Malachi. Jesus comes along in a similar fashion as one who speaks on behalf of God. And it is indeed true that part of the prophetic ministry is foretelling events that will happen in the future. But that's not the essence or the primary function of a prophet. A prophet comes primarily and functions essentially as a messenger of God. He is a deliverer of the word of God. He is one who comes along to speak God's word, not taking away from it or adding to it, but speaking exactly the words that the Lord gives the prophet to speak to the audience to whom the Lord is sending the prophet. And similarly, the Lord Jesus comes as the eternal God in human flesh to speak God's word to his people by the power of his spirit. And here I want to direct your attention to the Gospel of John chapter 15. The Gospel of John chapter 15 and verse 26 says, But when the Helper comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth who proceeds from the Father, he will bear witness about me, and you also will bear witness, because you have been with me from the beginning. It's important to recognize that even The Lord Jesus, in the state of humiliation, promises his disciples that he will give his spirit to them, the Holy Spirit, in order to deliver his message. And so the Lord Jesus speaks to his church through his spirit and by his word. We see this confirmed for us in other places like 1 Peter chapter 1. In 1 Peter chapter 1, Verse 11, it says there, Inquiring what person or time the Spirit of Christ in them was indicating when he predicted the sufferings of Christ and the subsequent glories. This is speaking about the prophets of the Old Testament, that the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Christ, had delivered the message of Christ to those prophets in order that those prophets might speak forth and tell forth of the coming Christ. And so the Lord Jesus continues to operate today similarly. He is the prophet. He is the final word of the Father that has come in these last days, Hebrews chapter 1, in order that he might speak the ultimate and final word to his church And that's how the Lord Jesus continues to speak to his church today. It is not through visions or or through special private messages that people receive supposedly from God in the quietude of their home or, or in their prayer closet, what have you. But rather, the Lord Jesus continues to speak to his church today by the power of his Spirit through the Word. The Holy Spirit is the one who inspired the Word contained for us in the Scriptures of the Old and New Testaments. That Scripture, that canon, that Bible now being closed, all of God's revelatory Word having now ceased and contained within 
the pages of Holy Scripture. This is the Word of Christ, inspired by the Holy Spirit. And the Lord Jesus gives his Spirit, as he did on the day of Pentecost, to his church in order that his church, empowered by the Spirit, might be enabled to hear God's Word and to read God's Word and to hear it proclaimed and preached. And as it is heard, preached, and read, the Lord Jesus by his Spirit is working in the hearts of his people who hear that word in order that they might receive it by faith, with understanding, empowered by the Spirit to not only hear the word, but to receive it by faith. And so the Lord Jesus continues to operate today in his estate of exaltation as he speaks prophetically to his church through his word. We must never separate the work of the Spirit from the word or the work of the word from the Spirit. And so in keeping these two things together, we understand that the Lord Jesus, while resting in the heavenly places right now, is also still at work among us and in us by his word and his spirit as a prophet, the one and only prophet of the church.